This episode of Ad is brought to you by GoToAssist Express. Learn more at gotoassist.com slash butterscotch. So you may have a bunch of digital pictures on your camera, but oh, it's such a pain to plug it in and dump the pictures. What if your camera was wireless? Well, I'm here with Jeff from iFi. You guys have figured out how to do that very simply with a little SD card. Tell me a bit about iFi. So this is a wireless memory card. It looks just like a regular memory card. It stores your photos and your videos. As far as your camera is concerned, it is a regular memory card, except inside ours is Wi-Fi. And we use that to wirelessly, automatically upload the, the photos and the videos from your camera to your computer and also to wherever it is you want to share on the web, your Flickr so, account, your Facebook account. So the circuitry in here has memory space yes, and it has a wireless antenna. There's all kinds of interesting stuff that's going on in there. It has memory. Yeah. It has uh, a special chip that we have designed, which is where all the smarts of this uh, is. It has a Wi-Fi radio, so a wireless radio and an antenna. And it supports so Wi-Fi, what, 802.11 GN or where are we at? The new card that we've just announced here at CES is 802.11 N. Right. Okay. Uh, it'll work with N networks, it works with B networks, it works with G network, so it's backward so, compatible with, so uh, with no the matter which you technology have. you're using, it's going to work, right? right? So, okay, so you plug this into your camera. Now, right. how do you browse the wireless network, though? If you have an older All camera. the smarts are actually built into the card, so yeah. as far as the camera's concerned, it doesn't even know that it's on the internet. All right. uh, the card has all the smarts built in. Right. So, as a user, you set up the card the first time on your computer. You tell us what wireless network you want it to talk to, right. or wireless networks. You tell us where you want us to send your pictures. Right. We'll only send it to those places. And then you pop it in your camera, and you go out in the world and take pictures. You don't have to be connected to a wireless network to take pictures. Right. Go out and do whatever it is when you, want to, you want to do, and then when you come home, you simply turn on your camera, set your camera down and now you go live your life. Make lunch for the kids, watch the game, whatever it is you want to do. Right. The card will wake up, automatically connect to the wireless network. It knows which photos and videos it's already uploaded and right. which ones are new. Wow. It'll just deliver the new ones to your computer, will automatically organize them for you by date on your computer, right. and will automatically deliver them to the web wherever it is you like to share. Amazing, amazing, very good. Cool. Now you've integrated this also with some more newer cameras where the manufacturers allowed you an interface to pick the wireless access point, no? Yeah, that's right. That's part of a program that we call iFi Connected. So the important thing here is the iFi card works with SD and SDHC cameras. It doesn't have to be a special camera, but there are special cameras out there. These are iFi Connected cameras is what we call them. They're on the market from Casio, from Canon, from Sanyo, uh, from Nikon. Right. And basically what they do is they build some software into the camera so that when you plug an iFi card into it, it reveals special features, special menu items. It gives you feedback about when you're connected to a network and right. when you're uploading content. Nice. So you as a user don't have to wonder, am I connected? Are all my photos uploaded or not? OK, so proof, proof is in the demonstration. Can you show me how it, it works? Yes, I can. So I have just a regular point-and-shoot camera here. This happens to be an iFi connected one, but it can, can be any point-and-shoot camera. It's got an iFi card inside of it. I'm going to take a picture of you. Okay. Now the lighting in here isn't fant fantastic, but the iFi card now, it knows so already... It doesn't, it doesn't make you a better photographer. It does not make you a better <laughs> photographer. Okay, got it. The card right now is automatically connecting to the Wi-Fi network. It's yeah. going to try to figure out where on the network am I supposed to be delivering my photos. Yeah. It's going to say, oh, the computer that I'm supposed to deliver to is here on this network, and then it's going to uh, connect and send them down. And you see the little iFi logo here was animating. It's connecting to the network. It sees that the card is on there. You see that your picture is already oh. in the... Right. That's from earlier, and it just po that just popped in now. Yes. Very cool. Just like that. Just like that. Now, what's our, what's our price point here? Well, like how, how much? We have a whole uh, range of iFi cards. They yeah. start at 50 bucks, and they go all the way up to 150 bucks, which right. is the product that we just announced here today. Right. What you get at 150 bucks, the new product that we introduced at CES, is, uh, is better speed and more capacity. So it's an 8 gigabyte product, so you can take all the photos and videos that you yeah. want. Uh, it's a better wireless speed and better wireless range. Right. Uh, but, but maybe the most interesting thing is it comes with a feature that we call endless memory mode. Okay. So what this does is it basically takes advantage of the fact that this card is connected to the internet. There's two-way communication from our system to the card. So the card knows what photos and videos has it successfully delivered right. to your computer, your Facebook page, wherever it is you want them to go. And it keeps track of those 
Then we give you, the user, the ability to decide how much of my memory card do I want to always leave open and free so that I can take pictures whenever I want. Right, yeah, yeah. Then as you reach that limit, yeah. we will automatically delete the old pictures that, were, that we know have been delivered right. to automatically make room for your new pictures. So you never have to worry about memory. You never have to worry about memory. It's your bottomless memory card. You can take pictures uh, all you want. As long as you can occasionally get connected to a network, we'll just keep making space. Amazing. Where can I find out more information? Uh, you can go to our website, yeah. eye.fi, i.fi, uh, or you can visit Best Buy or Apple stores or Amazon. Very cool. So check this out. Uh, you can make your camera wireless using iFi technology here at CES. Hey there, Andy here. Sean here. Andrew here. And we're in Las Vegas at CES 2010. I want to tell you about a brand new product called Go to Assist Express from Citrix Online. At Butterscotch, we're in the business of helping people solve their computer problems. And Go to Assist Express is a fantastic tool for offering remote support to your clients, your colleagues, or even your grandma. Grandma! It'll save you time and money, and it'll make you look like a hero to boot. So finally, a remote support solution that's easy and affordable. And it's fun! So try Go to Assist Express right now, free for 30 days. For this special offer, you must go to go to assist.com slash butterscotch. That's go to assist.com slash butterscotch for a free trial.